Um, you see in the stage bands as is. And uh, I hear a lot of talk about shines. I would kind of hope that a shine would be important in a four space animal match, but um, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong because I don't I don't main Falco or Fox. I don't know. Just a little random fact, or just like a little random comment while we're sitting here waiting. I don't. I'm not really too much of a fan of doing teams commentary because it's it's hectic. I know nobody cares about it, but I'm just randomly throwing that out there. Like when you do commentary, anybody who goes out there to do commentary, wait till you do teams, and you're just kind of sitting there like there's there's a little too much happening, which is why I try to break it down to somebody's life story. And um, seeing as he's looking that looking like the most interesting thing on the screen, I'm gonna give you the life story of PP. Because I see two can Sam and some foxes. We got um, I think that's Tag over there. I think Tag's over there jamming out to some music. Hey Cactar. All right, that's totally Tag. I just had to make sure that was Tag over there jamming out. Cactar over there winking at me. He uh, he looks like he's got some surprises for you people. Oh man. GLHF all around, and we going to uh, we going to Space Animal Stadium for the first game. PP going right into the fray. He throws a little bit of uh, no fair at all. Ye's coming in with the assist. Ye known for his uh, his real I won't even call it real campy. His real runaway style, it's like wait and bait, like he's going fishing. I mean that's what happens when you in the Carolinas. That's why they're famous for the catfish. But um, Tag and Cactar. You know they're showing no fear. They make uh, they taking time. They're making good work. I mean it's, it's kind of bad that I said that and they're both off the stage, but um, they're not afraid to t uh, take a little nibbles at the bait. You know they're like some of the most aggressive fish you're probably gonna see for this matchup. Look at that dancing around, waiting for uh, Ye to come off that platform wrong. But Ye is like, you know I why <laughs> I could do work, but I'm black. I don't understand the concept of exerting extra force. Just, I'm gonna chill out and try to let PP do all the work. The problem is they both getting messed up. Team combos, looking like NBC3 up in here. PP trying to get a little more real estate for his team. Ye comes over the top trying to sandwich him, trying to flank him. He pays a little bit too uh, too much attention to the distraction and he loses PP. PP comes back with a good save. You know, Ye Ye might not be able to save his partner, but PP can. Ye can get the kills though, and that's what's up. Looking like um. Six stocks to five. Uh, yeah, he's, yeah, he's dead. <laughs> like, that's all I need to say. He tried to get in there and say PP, but Fox isn't that fast. That's what he's got an R wing for. PP with the give me my money for it, bro. Yeah, trying to keep the sandwich in the middle. Tag and Cactar just keep jumping up. They don't want to stay on the ground. They don't want to give PP a clean shot. You know, you don't want snipers giving clean shots. You wanna you wanna give them the hardest shot as possible. Trying to make this like enemy of the gate. And tagging in with me is uh, twin one. Twin one, right twin here, one. man. What's good, man? What ah. you thinking about this right now, boss? I don't know. I was watching from a distance. I, it's very close. I'm like, I don't know. I'm actually, I'm not really that surprised, but I don't know. I can't see who's teaming with uh, Cactus though. Uh, Cactar and Tag. Oh, okay. Oh man. I don't know. They're doing really good. Yeah. I know uh, P or, uh, Dr. PP and Everlasting Yaz are, you know, they're really solid on teams. Most people didn't realize that coming into this. Yeah, like, um, they haven't really been doing too many teams together. Like, the way they look, they look like, you know, like a perfect synergy team. But uh, not to down Yaz, but uh, PP's main partner is actually Lozor. Yeah. Uh, who is a Fox player, so this isn't really new to him. But, PP, yeah, but the way PP works, um, Ye works perfectly fine for him because... Ye is willing to, he's willing to be assisted, you know, he doesn't yeah. need to run the show or anything, and PP's allowed to do whatever he wants, and PP's yeah. a very versatile kind of player. He, he is, he's a really smart player too, he will adapt to any play style he needs to get put in. He's like, he tends to be very, uh, I won't say very passive, but more on the passive side, more on the defensive side, 
But um, with the way Ye yeah. plays, PP has to do a little more effort, but that's perfectly fine for him. Yeah. I mean, I would talk about Lozer. Shout out, quick shout out to Lozer. I hate doing that in the middle of matches, but this this isn't your story. This is the story of uh, PP and Ye is getting game oh. one. All right, and, good uh, game, guys. Although.